The South in Artifices, part two of Ficciones, is the final story. Juan Dalman is the grandson of a German evangelical pastor who died a romantic death, run through with a lance by Indians from Catril, Argentina. One night, as Dalman walks up the stairs to read The Thousand and One Nights, he hits his head on an open door. He spends several feverish days in bed in a strange mental state. He's acutely aware of things, and time passes with agonizing slowness. He's taken to a sanitarium for x-rays. The sanitarium is a hellish nightmare, and he experiences intense self-loathing toward his body. A surgeon tells Dalman he has septicemia. The diagnosis shocks him. A few days later, Dalman is released from the hospital to recover at his ranch in the south. On the train, Dalman tries to read The Thousand and One Nights, but finds the morning itself and the mere fact of being more interesting than the book. The narrator says Dalman might have considered he was traveling into the past and not merely south. The train conductor tells Dalman he will have to get off one stop early and is left off in a desolate spot on the plain, which he finds beautiful with its final splendor of the evening's fading light. At a general store, he arranges for a carriage to the ranch and eats a meal. The eating area is peopled with country louts who throw spitballs of bread at Dullman, who tries to ignore them and read The Thousand and One Nights as a way of suppressing reality. Eventually, Dullman can no longer ignore them. He gets up to leave. The owner tells him, don't pay any attention to those lads. They're half high. Dullman confronts them, and one of them shouts insults and challenges Dullman to a knife fight. When the owner points out Dullman is unarmed, an old man squatting on the floor throws Dullman a knife. It seems to be fate. It was as if the South had resolved that he should accept the duel. Dullman realizes picking up the weapon commits him to the fight, and he's going to lose because he's unskilled. The two men go outside to fight. Dullman is without hope and also without fear. Dullman thinks back to his first horrible night in the hospital when he would have chosen or dreamt this death in a knife fight under the open sky and going forward to the attack. Like Borges, Dalman hit his head and suffers a serious infection. Borges' bout of septicemia, or blood poisoning, brought him to the brink of death and left him temporarily unable to speak. Borges says the South can be read as a direct narrative of novelistic events, and also in another way. What's real? It's possible Dalman never left the hospital and is only imagining this romantic, gaucho-style duel.